Hi, Jamie Newman with Modern Salon here, and I'm with Danielle Kiesling, who's nominated for three awards tonight at Naha. So we're going to turn it over to Danielle, and she's going to tell us a little bit about her techniques for Ulta's presentation tonight. Hello, my dear. I'm so excited. We are backstage here in the model room for Alta Beauty doing our prep for our show. And I wanted to talk a little bit about our prep on our beautiful model, Miriam. So Miriam's look is going to have a little bit of a tribal feel to it. So we were really inspired by the beautiful wardrobe that we have and a lot of textures. There's some organic elements to it. And um, our theme has basically been a suspension theme. So by using elements of different textiles in the hair, we're kind of creating a little bit of a playoff with the wardrobe. We're super excited and I want to share a look with you. So we started off, we're creating a stock and on the top of this is going to have like a fanned out palm. So in order to support something like this on hair that doesn't quite have as much texture, we went in and we started with a micro crimping technique. And so we first tied this off to create a secure pony, then we went in and created this micro crimping underneath. And the key to kind of expand this texture is to make sure you're using a cushion brush after you've micro crimped it and go in and really open this up. The more you brush your micro crimping, the more expansion in the sponge-like texture you're gonna get. So we're gonna go in section by section, and you wanna do it section by section because if you don't get right down to that band or right down to the scalp, you're actually um, defeating the purpose. You're creating more weight on the mid lengths and then that, that um, root area or the scalp area or wherever's close to your elastic band isn't getting the expansion it needs. So. We're just going in and brushing this out. And the other thing that I want to point out, and you'll see as we finish this top palm, is when we're working with textures, it's really fun to play off of a variety of textures, meaning that we've got, we're going to have smooth elements to this hair, and that's going to be, believe it or not, in the palm. So we're doing this for stability, but we're actually going to have a smooth veil over it played off with more of an organic texture that we're going to leave this tail out and create like an organic feeling texture through the fringe. So we'll have her hair down as well and that texture is going to have more of a grungy kind of, I would say like a salty kind of feel to it. So I'm just finishing off going through this pony. Really, again, just brushing it out because that's where you're going to get your support, stability, and expansion. And you know, one thing too, when you're actually micro crimping, and you can see that that micro crimp's going all the way down there, you want to make sure that you're getting right to that elastic to create that support. All right, and so on the back side of this, so when we actually made this ponytail, we went in and took a little bit of a triangle section through that back that we kept out, pinned out of the way to create that smooth veil because we want, again, that shine line in there. So it's really reflecting from the stage, that beautiful shine and polish and using that micro crimping for support. One thing when you're actually creating one of these palms, another tip is to really make sure that the hair is going all forward in a very nice waterfall direction. You don't want this hair coming from this side to crisscross over this side because what's gonna happen is you're gonna open that fan up and collapse the shape. So a little technique that I love that I actually learned from a friend of mine at Matrix, Michael Albor, is when I'm combing in a shape, I comb in the middle then I comb on the outside and I comb on the other outside. And I just keep repeating that pattern, middle, side to side, because that actually folds that hair in really nicely. All right. So now that I've created a nice shine line in there, I'm gonna have you hold that. I wanna make sure that I'm kind of making sure that I'm fanning this out so I get where the shape I want. And then remember, we're gonna use this tail as Miriam's fringe. So I wanna make sure that I'm looking at 
how much fringe I want to come down in here and create. And I'm going to use, at the end of this, a product from Matrix called Rough Me Up. And it's a, it's a beach texture type salt spray. So that'll give us that organic texture back into it. And we'll actually work that into the hair when we finish. So let's get this secure. So what I'm going to have you do, Laura, is I want you to just put your hand in there for me. Yep. So this is Laura. She's part of our design team for Alta Beauty. And then with your other hand, just press right there for me. Perfect. So again, we're creating this kind of fanned out palm on the top and we're using the tail and the mid lengths to create a fringe texture. So we'll be able to kind of manipulate this hair once we get it real secured. So we went in, micro crimped it, and then laid our top veil of smooth hair over because we want that light to catch a shine line up here. Now I'm taking this elastic and I love this elastic. You can get it at craft stores, you can get it at MJ Trims. There's places we use it a lot for fashion week and it's a, it's a cording but it's real, real stretchy so it gives you a ton of support and allows you to tie a ponytail without actually using a round secured elastic. So I'm going in there and Laura's actually kind of securing this. It helps to have two hands to do this and I'm going underneath her fingers. So I'm just kind of feeding this elastic underneath her fingers and I'm going to go in and pinch this nice and tight and then I'm going to come to the back and again, not the back, so feed that through. And I'll come around the front again. And feed that through. All right, so now take your hand out of that center for me. Shimmy it. <laughs> All right, so you're going to see that we'll be able to actually fan this. So now the last thing we want to do is I'm just going to have you pinch this, Laura, for me right up the top. Get that out of the way because you don't want a lot of friction while you're doing this. And we're actually just going to take this elastic and rope it down back and forth to create the stock base because that's going to give us the support so this stands nice and firm and tall on our model's head. So just wrapping this around. Every once in a while I'll give it a tie to just secure it. And again, just wrapping this all the way down underneath. and then giving it a good knot off. All right, so we'll go ahead and clip these ends. All right, there you go. And so now what we'll be able to do is you can see how sturdy this is. It's not gonna go anywhere. You've got the support and the structure of the micro crimping. And we can go in and we can kind of just lightly fan this out to where we want. And again, it's creating that sponge-like texture, so it's gonna fatten up any, any structure that you're using the micro crimping on. So we'll get that all sprayed, and then once we finish this final look, we're gonna go in and, like I said, use the Matrix Rough Me Up. We'll go in here and create a real nice organic texture to play off of the different shines. So we want to keep this a little bit more gritty and we want to keep this super polished and shiny because it always is very interesting to the eye when you've got two different textures playing off of each other. Then we're going to have a cool little surprise that I'm not actually going to spoil it for you right now, but we're going to be doing some intricate um, work in the back using some braids to anchor it and um, we're actually playing off of the wardrobe that she's going to be wearing so you'll see how that comes together um, with, with the technique.